Welcome to D Poetry and Inspiration with your host, author, and life coach, and poet, D Evans. Enjoy. Hey everyone, welcome back to Real Talk Tuesdays, episode 9. And if you're new to Real Talk Tuesdays, welcome! Make sure you check out the other episodes and I hope you enjoy. So today I want to talk about self-care. Self-care, self-care, self-care. Let's get into it. So self-care is very important. You know, I don't think we realize on a daily basis how we are not taking care of ourselves in the ways that we should. Because a lot of times we just look at self-care as spoiling ourselves here and there. Self-care, oh my gosh, is so much more to self-care than buying yourself things, treating yourself to expensive gifts. And I want to talk about that while we're on this topic. Expensive gifts. Treating yourself to expensive gifts is not a part of self care okay well let's say it like this expensive gifts that you cannot afford to make those kind of sacrifices if you cannot afford to sacrifice for a gucci belt with the shoes and the wallet and the purse and the the outfit and the hat do not do it and blame it on self-care do not put yourself in a financial bind because you're saying you're doing self-care. No, you're being pretty um, irresponsible. That sounds more like irresponsible than self-care. Okay, yes, I agree. I'm all for treating yourself, but let's be responsible when it comes to treating ourselves and self-care, okay? Let's not make irresponsible decisions where you're neglecting your bills because you want to buy expensive gifts that you know you can't afford that's irresponsible and that also sounds like it's more to that that doesn't sound healthy okay that's my take on it and you know that's just how I look at the situation from a deeper perspective so I want to make sure that we understand that self-care it's 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 more to it you know outside of you know buying yourself gifts I want to make sure that each and every one of you guys listening, that you guys are taking care of your bodies, that you're taking care of yourself, because it all coincides, okay? If you're not getting enough sleep, you are being a detriment to your body, to yourself. Not enough sleep creates angry people with less patience. It's not good for your body. It's... It's, uh, what's it called when you don't get enough sleep? Because my son, if he doesn't get enough sleep or you wake him up, he is agitated. (laughs) Wake a little kid up and when they're still sleepy, okay, you are going to feel the wrath. And that's how it is for our bodies, okay? That's how our bodies feel when we're not giving our bodies enough rest. It is important to make sure you are getting at least between six to eight hours of rest a day and i'll say if you cannot sleep for at least six hours at once take naps take naps throughout the day but make sure overall you're getting a total of six to eight hours because your body needs it you need it your body needs it okay i'm an advocate for naps i'm a believer in naps i don't care if it's 30 minutes okay i'm going to take my nap every single day confession i've been taking naps since middle school okay since middle school i've been taking naps every day i've understood the importance of naps and sleep at a very young age and that's probably why i still look kind of young for my age (laughs) so making sure you're getting enough rest is a part of self-care stop neglecting that We have to make sure we are getting rest. It's good for our bodies. Our bodies need it. And when we neglect getting enough sleep, guess what happens? Your body shuts down on you. Your body shuts down. You may get sick with a fever, a flu. You know, your body, is it rejects you. And next thing you know, you're laid up in the bed. Because now your body had to force you to getting rest because you refuse to listen to your body and get rest also make sure you're exercising 
Exercising does not mean that you have to enroll into a gym membership. You have to be a part of a gym. But it's great if you do. It's great if you do, you know, consider your local gym and participating once or twice or three times out the week. But it's not necessary. You can exercise within your home in the comfort of your home. You can exercise just by walking. You can walk outside your neighborhood, you know, when you go to grocery stores or convenience stores, gas stations, wherever you travel to. You can park a little farther than you, you're used to parking and walk. Walk the extra, the extra, the walking distance. It's nothing wrong with that. But it's important to allow your 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 muscles and to exercise your body and your muscles and and your body deserves that your body needs that so it's important to exercise get some daily exercising in jumping jacks push-ups sit-ups crunches you can do that in the comfort of your home okay i've started walking um just doing more walking parking far i used to be the one that will circle Okay, for five, 10 minutes just to get a, a, a space close up in the front when I go out to different stores. <laughs> now I park the farthest away so I can get the exercise and it feels great, you know. And I have this thing now I do with my son where I try to take him to the park on Sundays and he holds me accountable. So it's great to have either your kids, your loved ones, your partners to hold you accountable as well to make sure that you're getting exercise in because your body needs it. And as we get older, our body is changing. So we have to keep it functioning as in good shape as much as we can. So we got to make sure we're taking care of ourselves. We got to make sure we're getting rest. We got to make sure we're getting sleep, exercising. We have to make sure we're doing this. And we have to make sure we're eating healthier. Like I just said, we're getting older, okay? We got to keep our bodies functioning properly. As we get older, all kind of things just pop up. And you're like, what? Cholesterol? High cholesterol? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I got to really maintain and I really got to pay attention to how much fried food I'm eating, you know, high blood pressure, diabetes, like we have to really make sure we are on top of our nutrition, we are monitoring our sugar intakes, monitoring our calories, monitoring how much fried food we're eating, soul food is the bomb, you guys, soul food tastes good. But a lot of soul food is not healthy. We put a lot of sugar and all kind of spices. So it's not healthy to eat on a regular basis unless you are making sure that you monitor, you know, your ingredients. We have to make sure we're drinking enough water, 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 water. A lot of us don't like water. I know there's people that do not drink water at all. They don't like water. But it's important we drink water is, you know, to avoid the, the, the juice with the high sugar, you can do things like Crystal Light. I drink Crystal Light. I've been drinking Crystal Lights for years. That's a different option. You know, there's Crystal Light. There's other different brands of substitute for flavor that you, you can add in your water bottles that has way less sugar. You know, because when you're drinking juice and soda, it's so much sugar. Oh, my gosh. I know when I cut out drinking juice and soda... I rarely drink juice and soda, probably like twice or three times a month. And I lost like five pounds just from doing that alone, cutting out juice and soda. You know, I only may drink it, to be honest, when I'm out of town. Like if I'm on vacation or I'm out of town, I may treat myself to juice. And I always regret it after. And soda, I always regret it after because it's just, it's so heavy on the sugar. So if you can avoid your intake with juice, if you can focus more on juicing and natural juices, that would be great. But definitely pay attention to that, okay? So we have to monitor what we are putting in our bodies. Oh my gosh, it's so important for self-care. This is the real self-care, guys. And of course, when we, you know, think about outside of making sure we're eating healthy, exercising, drinking water, sleeping, we have to make sure we're protecting our mental health as well. That is definitely self-care. You know, making sure you're being surrounded around positivity, positive people that's going to continue to motivate you, hold you accountable, inspire you, promote, you know, healthy, great things 
you know, within your life. People that want to see you do well, be successful. Surround yourself around that. Surround yourself around positive environments. It's important, you know, if you know an environment is negative, just try to, if you can help it, try to um, cut down on those visits. If you can avoid them altogether, I say avoid them altogether. But I would say if you can't, just try to minimize those visits and try to create positive environments that you can reciprocate in and that's going to continue to build you okay let's I'm, I'm always preaching on avoiding negative people negative environments what you're consuming the television you're watching the music you're listening to it all has an effect okay consider listening to motivational speeches positive you know, more positive podcasts, positive radio, radio talk when you're in the cars, read positive books, ways you can improve within your life. Just, you know, let's just focus on positivity. So important. And, you know, when it comes to self-care, it's important that we have a spirit of gratitude, that we are thankful, we are appreciative for all of our daily blessings. That is self-care. Because if we want to continue to attract, we have to appreciate what we have. We have to be thankful. And, I mean, it's 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 just a great feeling. It's, it's promoting that positive, you know, environment. Just having that spirit of gratitude and being thankful. So, and then, of course, treat yourself. Treat yourself. Take care of yourself. It could be making sure that you're being properly groomed. You're making sure that you're getting your hair done. You're not walking around with your hair, your hair sticking up on your head. You're looking presentable. You feel good about yourself when you're looking presentable, you know, and when you're looking good and feeling good, you possess positive energy. Okay. You're happy. I've never seen somebody that's looking good and feeling good and unhappy. Make sure that you are taking care of, care of yourself and you're properly grooming yourself. If you can afford to, get your nails done, go to a spa, get massages once every three months. If you can afford to get massages once a month, why not? It's important to take care of yourself. If you can afford to get, you know, your pen, medic, manicures, pedicures, I say try to, you know, have somebody pamper you with a manicure and pedicure at least once a month. If you can't afford to, you can do it yourself. But it's just important for you to make sure you're grooming yourself. You're making sure your outer appearance look good. You're making sure you're, you're showering on a daily basis. You're making sure you're taking care of your hygiene. Making sure you're smelling good. You know, you're putting on fragrance, oils. You're oiling up and lotioning up your body. We want to make sure our hygiene is intact. That's all a part of self-care, okay? And it's non-expensive, to make sure that you're smelling good and looking good. We have to do that, okay? It's so important that we do that. And then like I was saying earlier about treating yourself, making sure when you do decide to treat yourself that it's within your budget. Do not make crazy sacrifices with treating yourself to where you're backed up on your bills now, okay? Make sure that it's something you can afford or save towards it. Save towards that expensive purchase that you want because you do deserve it. You work hard. You deserve to get all the things that you desire, but make sure that you can afford it. So I suggest saving for those things if you can't afford it, you know, in one purchase. Real Talk Tuesday, y'all. I'm just trying to make sure that we are taking care of ourselves. We are putting ourselves first. Self-care is important. As it says in the scriptures, your body is your temple. And, you know, the most high dwells within you and within your body. So we have to make sure that we are taking care of our body. We have to make sure that we are not, you know, doing things to continue to hinder our bodies, hinder our growth. We have to take care of ourselves. And taking care of your physical, it does have an impact on your mental and on your spiritual, okay? It has a major impact. So I wanted to bring that out. Self-care, self-care, self-care. Episode 9, Real Talk Tuesday. Make sure you are you are taking care of yourself. Nobody is going to take care of you like you. No one. 
okay? And when you take care of yourself, you are the example to others. And you are being a great example to others for them to say, hey, you know what? She takes care of herself. He takes care of himself. I need to do better. Be that light. Be that light for someone else who, you know, are neglecting their self and not taking care of their self in the way that they should. Be that light because, oh my gosh, when you start taking care of yourself and loving yourself and valuing yourself, it builds and it increases your self-confidence. It increases your self-confidence when you take care of yourself because then you understand your value and your worth and you're not going to allow anyone to take that from you. You're not going to allow anyone to devalue you because you understand who you are. So make sure you are taking care of yourself. Okay, you guys. Real Talk Tuesday, episode nine. One more episode. Next episode will be the season finale for season one. I hope you guys enjoy. D. Evans, Real Talk Tuesdays. Bless. God bless you guys. Thanks for listening.